Hello guys, how's it going? This is your good friend Dalton here in the video. Um, I just want to take a minute to first apologize for not making a YouTube video in a while. Just have been, stuff's been happening, just kind of, I don't know, I kind of lost the, the, uh, the drive, I guess you could say, for making videos on YouTube. And, uh, but I'm back. I'm back, I got some cool content. And today I thought I might show you guys how to create an appointment using the new key plan on the Braille Note Touch Plus. This will be the first video on my channel with the Braille Note Touch Plus. And so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Touch Plus, it's on my right. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Now, you you guys may or may not be able to see my keys, but I will walk you guys through every step that I do the best I can. So first of all, my Braille Note touches, my Braille Note touches asleep. I'm gonna wake it up by pressing the sleep wake button, which can be found on the left edge of your device. If you feel on the left side with the thumb keys facing you, the thumb keys are the rectangular keys on the front of your device, you will feel a USB-C connector a power switch and a volume rocker, a volume button. Um, they are facing up and down. If you push the button away from you, that turns the volume up. Pushing the button towards you turns the volume down. So I'm gonna push this concave oval button and we're gonna wake up the uh, Braille Note Touch Plus. Uh, for, for those of you that don't know, this is running Android 8.1 Oreo. It has a Snapdragon processor, and we are running um, the latest version of Keysoft. I don't know what that version is off the top of my head. Uh, if you guys want, if you guys want to know, leave a comment, and I will um, I will look that up for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and push my sleep wake button, and we're going to wake it up. Five twenty Thursday, August twenty And I'm going to do a space with U. U is 136. I'm going to do a space with the letter U to unlock the device. Un device unlocked. Main menu. Contacts. Key list. Now, before we get started, I'm going to make sure that we do have a, a wireless connection. Um, I'm using my phone's mobile hotspot for this um, tutorial. Because what this is, what key, key plan has been completely rebuilt from the ground up. So now it actually, um, key plan will actually synchronize with Google Calendar or your any, any calendar you have um, available to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a, a, I'm gonna push dots three, four with enter. I'm gonna check and see if I have Connectivity a- Connectivity information, Wi-Fi status. Connected to Dalton's iPhone 12 Pro. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit my home button. Main menu. I wanna, and I'm gonna turn up my volume so you guys can hear my touch. Loud, 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 louder. Accessibility volume set to 100%. And that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and push P twice until I get to, um, to planner, key plan. So the beautiful thing about the Braille note family is there's a really innovative feature called first letter navigation. I can push the letter, the first letter of an application. I can push the first letter of that application's name and it will jump me directly to that application. So I'm going to push the letter P and the first thing I'm going to come to is play store. Play store. I'm going to push P again. Planner. Key plan. And for those of you who don't know, I'm using Vocalizer Samantha. Um, your Braille Note Touch Plus will come with Acapella Sharon, but I'm using a different TTS. That's why mine sounds different. So I'm gonna push Enter. Key plan: Labor Day Monday, September fifth, two thousand twenty-two, all day. And now I want to make a new appointment, a new schedule. So I can either do, if I don't know, how to, if I don't know how to go to the to make the new, if I don't know the keystroke. I can push and hold my square button, which will bring up the context menu, which I'll do now. Or you can do space with letter M as in mic. I will push and hold my square button now. Context menu. 
new appointment. Space within. And then, and it told me that new appointment, new schedule or new appointment with space with letter N as in November. I'm gonna go ahead and push enter on this. Subject added box. New appointment. So now it says subject, and that means what? What is the name of this appointment? I'm gonna put this. I'm just gonna make one up. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna delete this as soon as I'm done. I'm gonna call this. Uh, grocery. Grocery. Oops. If I can type properly. Dots one two three four six deleted. Shopping. Oops. Space deleted. Shopping. Grocery shopping. Day. Day. I'm gonna push enter. All day. Checkbox. Not checked. Now this is not gonna be all day. I'm gonna. I'm going to push my space bar. Eight. Edit box. Start month. And I'm going. So I'm gonna put this for. October. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna push enter on this edit box, and what I see here is a a bracket with an eight in the middle. And if I if I push my cursor out a key above that eight, start month edit box eight end of field computer braille is required. And it has told me that I need to write in computer braille. And I can in fact see a a cursor a single dot for my cursor. I want to delete this eight. Eight deleted. I'm gonna put. I want. I want to do my grocery shopping in October. So I'm gonna put. I'm gonna build the letter. Build the letter ten and then with code. Start day edit box twenty five. Computer and, and I, is required. And I. And I did. I build the letter ten and I pushed enter. I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna do one. I build the letter one and I'm gonna push enter. Start year edit box two thousand twenty two. That's computer braille is required. That's fine. Start our edit box. Six. Computer braille is required. I'm gonna. I'm going to. Six deleted. Let's say I want to do my grocery shopping at twelve. I'll push enter. Start minute edit box. Zero zero. Computer braille is required. We'll do. We will do. I'm gonna delete what's in this edit box. I'm gonna put. I want to do my grocery shopping at twelve fifty. PM button. That's fine. PM. I want to. I want. I'm gonna leave that there. Ten. Edit box. End month. Yes. One. Edit box. End day. I want it to end it. I want it to end at October first, the same day I started it. Two thousand twenty-two. Edit box. End year. That's fine. One. Edit box. End hour. Twenty. Edit box. End minute. One. Edit box. End hour. Actually, hold on a minute. End hour edit box. One. End of field. Computer braille is required. Yes, yeah, fine. Yeah. 1201. 20. Edit box. End minute. PM. Button. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to do it as PM. Location. Edit box. I'm going to Location put, edit box. End of field. I'm going to put... Fries. Fries. Push my next thumb key. Description. Edit box. Description edit and box. And for description, end of field. I'm, going to, I'm going to type in... This, this is, is my... Normal. Normal. Shopping. Shopping. Location. Location. I just typed that in grade 2 braille on the keyboard. Calendar. Drop down list. As my calendar, this is what cal this is the calendar I want to select. I'm gonna push. I'm gonna push my cursor around and key on here. Pop up window. Dalton Lannycorn at gmail dot com. That's Check. my that's my Google calendar that I want. I'm gonna leave that alone. Calendar. Drop down list. New appointment. Edit repeating pattern button. I don't want a repeating pattern. Invite people. Add email separated by semicolon. Edit box. This is if I wanted to add an email, I'm not, which I'm not going to do. Add from contacts button. I don't need any, any contacts. This is where you go if you wanted to, you know, you wanted to invite someone to do this with you. you this is where you put it in. Okay button. And there's the okay button. I'm going to push my router key on here. Key plan. Labor Day Monday, September 5th, and now if 2022 I, all day. I'm going to do a space with, um, Actually no, I'm gonna do a letter. I'm gonna do a space, and it should. Temple Day Wednesday, September Temple Day, first day of his band. Temple Day Wednesday, load next events. Temple Day Wednesday, 
September 28th. Grocer Temple Day Grocery Shopping Day Saturday, October 1st. 2022 12:50 p.m. to Grocery Shopping Day Saturday, October 1st. 2022 12:50 p.m. to 1:20 p.m. And there is there there is our and there is our appointment we just set and that is how you make appointments using key plan on the Braille Note Touch Plus and the beauty the beauty uh, of this is is uh I could I could get on my phone and I could view the same if I open my my uh, calendar application, my Apple Calendar application, and it it will show the exact same um, appointment on my Apple Calendar. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this appointment by doing a. I'm gonna do a backspace with two three five six. Alert. Key plan. Are you sure you want to delete this appointment? Cancel. Okay. Push O for okay. Okay. Button. Key plan. And Labor Day Monday. It's gone now. I'm gonna push my home button to go back to my main menu. Main menu. Contacts. Key list. And that is how you successfully make an appointment using key plan. And um, how you remove one as well. I hope this has been a helpful, helpful video for you guys. And uh, if you want any more tutorials on the Braille Note Touch Plus, leave a comment on the box below. And uh, yeah, I will hopefully get this video uploaded as soon as I can, and it feels good to be back on YouTube again. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know, and uh, I will I will um, try to get to them as soon as I can. Um, in the next in the next video, we might look at how to. Um, how to download a book using Easy Reader and the Dolphin software, and how to um, how to read those books in Easy Reader. Anyway, that's for another video. I hope this has been helpful, and I hope I hope you guys enjoy your, this video. And I'll see you guys on the next on the next one.